Okay, so for this one, it says the present value of perpetuity paying one every two years with the first payment due immediately. And they give us an annual effective rate of I. So we have to convert it to a two year effective. Right? And then we find J, which is uh, one plus I squared minus one. So payments of one. Right, and then also says that uh, it's uh, payments are due immediately. So we're going to use the law of um, perpetuity dues plus one, right? That means that we will have to add one to denote that. Should equal to 7.21. Now let's solve for i that 16.21 6.21. Then I can move this to the other side or I can uh, move this to the this side. Whereas I can move this part to the other side. So I could do 1 over 6.21. Right now I'm gonna add one. Then I'm gonna square root it and then minus one. And I'm gonna make sure that I equals 0 0.0775. Now it says no perpetually paying R every three years with the first payment due at the beginning of year two. So what is the beginning at year two? It occurs here. Right, which means that we would have to discount it one period back to zero. So be paying R at the three years at an annual effective rate of, so every three years you have to uh, convert it to a three year effective, right? So it would be um, one plus I cubed minus one instead uh, at this amount. But well, we already found I, so we'll do plus 0.01 we'll get 0 0.0875. So it's gonna be one over, one point zero eight seven five to the third power minus one, right? Um, it's also seeing that payments are occurring at the beginning of every year, right? So plus one. And then, yeah. Um, so the reason why R is out is because now we are having this payment on top of the fact that it's an annuity due payment. So I just added one. And so payments are not just one anymore. They're denoted R. So R will apply to this whole equation. So we'll have to take R out. Then it says that it is it has the same present value of 7.21. So let's solve, right? So we'll do uh, 1.0875 to the three, right, minus one. We're gonna get 0 0.286, right, uh, plus one. 4.4965. And then we'll end up, okay. So um, it's gonna be, yeah, 1.0875 to the three minus one, then one of, okay, so this, this is, this, uh, Denominator is 0.28613. Then it's going to do 1 divided by 0.28613 plus 1. It's going to be 4.49. Right, and then now we're going to move this to the other side. So. Yeah, 
or yeah, 4.49. Yeah, so once we solve it, we'll, yeah, we'll move it to the other side. So it's going to be 1.6004. But we also mentioned earlier that first payment is due at the beginning of year two. So we always have to discount back, right? So by V, right? So if it's only discounted by one year, we're going to discount it by the effective of, um, by the effective of uh, 1.0875, right? So we'll multiply that by this amount as well. So we'll end up getting 1.74 as our answer.